Hello everyone and welcome to EV Italy. In this episode, I'm gonna show you some little tests I did to see what is the energy consumption for the heating during winter on the Volkswagen e-Alp. First, I wanted to see how much energy do the heated seats consume, so I even turned off the lights. And as you can see, the base consumption of the car is 0.6 kilowatt. Then I turn on the heating of the driver's seat. As you can see, the consumption increased to 0.7, so I turned on the passenger seat heating, and the consumption moved to 0.8. Then I turned off both the seats, and the consumption went back to 0.6. At this point, it is clear that the heated seats consumes about 100 watts for each seat. But what about heating up the actual car interior? Before going any further, please consider visiting our e-store at www.evdailylife.com where you'll find our original designs of mugs, t-shirts and soon many other products dedicated to EV drivers. Now, back to the video. In the second part of the video, I'm gonna show you the energy consumption of the conventional heating on the EA. Keep in mind, this vehicle does not have a heat pump. The car was stationary and I just turned it on when I took this footage. What we are seeing is the app PCC or Power Cruise Control that beside being extremely useful on long journeys, it offers as well the opportunity to check on a variety of information and I think it is more accurate than the car itself. The temperature outside was 5 degrees Celsius. And as you turn it on, the heating is already set at, 10, at 22 degrees. I began the test with 11.4 kilowatt hour in the battery. And in about 10 minutes, 500 watts were gone. What I saw is that at the very beginning, the consumption spikes, getting even above 9 kilowatt. Around 4 minutes and 30 seconds into the test, it's like it turned off for a bit and then it turned on itself again, with a constantly changing consumption. If we consider it used 400 watts in 10 minutes, then we can assume it would use 2.4 kilowatt hour in one hour, and that, in the case of the EAP, it's about 7.5% of the usable battery. I got to say that by the end of this test, the cabin was really cozy and warm. I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the video so you can check the results by yourself. This was my first ever video in English. I hope it wasn't too bad to listen to. There are more videos coming and I hope you'll join the channel by subscribing or clicking on the like button. So thank you for watching and go electric. Mm -hmm.